Can this jelly bean looking rock be cut into a beautiful gemstone? I'm not even sure myself, but let's find out. Hi everyone, this is Clayton from the Sand and Shore Shop. And I take things like this and turn it into stuff like this. Come and watch me make shiny stuff. Hey everyone, this is Clayton from the Sand and Shore Shop. And what I got here today is this little tiny thing that looks like a jelly bean. As a matter of fact, when I found it, I actually thought it was a jelly bean. Well, I found this in my parents' library, of all places. And it was a Dixie cup full of, full of rocks. And it probably came from... Here, I'll put them down there so we can see them. It probably came from an old aquarium or something that was in there because there was aquariums and terrariums through many, you know, many rooms of the house. And I just, I'm like, pulled out a book and I'm like, what in the world? Rocks! I can find rocks anywhere! I love it! But I looked through the rocks and this one stuck out at me. And when something jumps out at me, there's usually a reason for it. And most of the time that reason is... It's saying, cut me into a stone. So that's what I'm going to cut today. Uh, let me get this cleaned up. I'm not going to try to snap my fingers because I don't, I don't know where these rocks might end up. Okay, we got the jelly bean rock right here. Um, sorry I can't get much closer because I lose all the color in my camera if I get too close. Um, I looked at this stone under the light and it looks very doesn't look clear. It has a looks like it has the color. It goes the whole way through, but it doesn't seem to have a lot of junk inside of it. No inclusions that I could see. No cracks or anything else that would, you know, maybe keep it from becoming a really, really nice stone. We have this side here, if you can see. This side here is sort of flat. And we already have like a nice dome looking on this this top side. So what I think I'm going to do, well, well, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn this into a cabochon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this side here and flatten it down. And then get that onto a stick so I can shape it. I was thinking about taking this over on the cutting wheel, but I don't know. The stone's pretty small, so I may have to do it by hand. I'll find out here in a minute. Okay, I'm back. And... As you can see, I was able to get that cut down on the wheel without really cutting my fingernails too badly. And I got a nice flat side on there. Let me make that wet again. You can see there is no, there seems to be, let me, where's my blue pointy stick? There it is. Right in there, there seems to be some sort of inclusion. Maybe one or two little ones right in that area. But apart from that, it seems to be a very clear stone. So I'm going to have to put this on a dop stick, a tiny, tiny dop stick, and see if I can get that thing shaped into a, shaped into a stone. I'm, that If this stone turns out as nice as I think it might, I might be able to put this into a ring. So I'm going to take and put this on a dop stick right now, and we'll get going with this thing. Alrighty, uh, I got this stone on a dop stick, and I'm using a very, very tiny dop stick for this. And I decided to use the wax. Like I said, if this stone turns out nice, I might put it into a ring, so I will have to be very, very conscious about having the bottom of this stone per perpendicular to this stick. Because if I want to get it round or a perfect oval shape, if we're setting into a ring, then I will have to be very meticulous about how I do this. It's not just like picking up a rock to make a shiny. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this over on the cutting wheel and give this baby a shaping. Okay, I'm back. And that did not take long at all. We've got ourselves a fairly nice... Let me see if you can... Let me see. See, it's roughed in pretty nicely. It's got this color that... I don't know. There's oranges and sort of a grayish color in there. 
and I think it's pretty. And you can see that over here, there's those inclusions, and they might actually start showing up once we get this sanded down. So that's the next thing I'm going to do. I'm going to get the 500 sandpaper, and we're going to start to uh, do the polishing on this. All right, All right here's the 500 grit sandpaper, and I think I can probably use a piece from the other day. <clears throat> so let me see what we're getting. I don't have my magnifying lenses on my glasses. So I'm just going to run over this real quick and see if this sandpaper is going to be good enough to sand this down. Because this stone is somewhat hard. Oh, it seems to be doing pretty good. I'll do the very top of the dome. Give it a quick sand so we can take a look and see. Mm, well, yeah, I'm going to get a better piece of sandpaper because... This stone is a little bit harder than I thought, even though it's small. So, so. Okay, I did get some better sandpaper. That piece I had was working, but it wasn't working exceptionally well. So I'll continue to work on this stone. It's not going to take very long. This is going to be a easier, easier polish. All right, all right. So I've gotten all the cut marks out of this stone, and... It's time to move on to the next grade of sandpaper. We'll see if we can polish this shell up to a night. This is a stone, not a shell! We'll see if we can polish this stone up to a brilliant, shiny shine shine. Alright, I am back. Stone is all clean. And as you see, when it's wet, it's actually kind of pretty. It's got some inclusions in it, and it's got some hues and all kinds of stuff. So. We'll polish it up some more. This is the thousand grit paper, and this is a piece I'd used before. Like I said, actually, the finer the paper, the less I use of it. So let's get a polish on this stone. Alrighty. Oh, yeah. That's. Actually polishing up very nicely. Look at that. I don't know why I keep drifting off like that. But that's looking pretty good. Even from the side. That's got some nice color. It's semi-clear. There's some stuff inclusions. Stuff. I like to call it stuff. There's some stuff in there that might give it some character get this polished up it may even be more clear so I'm going to take this over onto the cerium oxide wheel and we'll see if we can polish this up and we might even be able to identify this one but I shall be right back well I'm back and this stone let me look at this this stone is absolutely gorgeous it's got a super high glass polish on it Bring it up maybe a little closer, trying not to lose the color, see if it's focusing. Got a super high glass finish. Um, there's a few little inclusions. It's not clear, it's translucent. Like I said, it's got a few little inclusions, and the color is very subtle. I mean, there's a lot of different plays of color on this thing. And I can say, probably without fear of contradiction, that I know what this is. This is this is actually a piece of agate. Ah! I can say it's that with about 99.9% .9 certainty. It is definitely a win. Ah! Here, let me take it off the stick. That was pretty easy. The wax doesn't want to come off. Okay, the wax was doing its job and not coming off. <laughs> so, here we have it. The stones go. Hey, this is this is a beauty. I definitely definitely call this a win. Um, and I probably will put this into a piece of jewelry. I mean, it's pretty enough for it. I can take the back and 
the back's not finished, I can take and polish that a little bit just to get the, the roughness off. And then that stone will be, this will be truly a gemstone. I mean, agate is a semi-precious gem. And when it's cut like this, it can be very, 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 very nice. I mean, if you picture that right there, say, and a ring around it, that set in as the centerpiece for a, a ring, that's pretty good. Or even set in some... Ah, ha, gravity's working. Thank you. Or picture that as a necklace set into a silver bezel, maybe. But, yep, that's definitely an absolute win. Now, if you like the video, you know, hit the button down below, subscribe, and give us a like. And there will be more videos like this coming out later on. So, thanks for sharing some time with me, and you have a good day.